Welcome to this BDR Cloud demo. In this video, I'll walk you through how to configure backup for a Microsoft 365 user mailbox and how to perform data restoration. To get started, head over to the BDR Suite website and click Start Free Trial. Now, click on Sign Up for BDR Cloud to proceed with creating your account. On the Sign Up form, enter your email address, company name, and contact details. Then click Register to proceed. A password setup link will be sent to your email. Open the email and click on the Set Password link. This will redirect you to the password setup page where you can create your login password for your BDR Cloud account. To log in to BDR Cloud, go to backup.bdrcloud.com. Enter your registered email and the password you just set to access your account. After logging in, you'll see two options at the top, Server and Endpoints and SaaS Application. Click on SaaS Application to access the Microsoft 365 Backup Management page. To start backing up Microsoft 365 data, navigate to Data Sources and select Microsoft 365 Organization. Here, you can add and manage your Microsoft 365 account for backup click the Microsoft 365 Organization button to begin the setup. First, select your preferred Azure Cloud environment based on your Microsoft 365 setup. Then, choose one of the available authentication methods to add your Microsoft 365 account as a data source. Complete the sign-in process to proceed with backup configuration. Once your Microsoft 365 account has been successfully added, it will appear on the organization listing page. To configure backups, navigate to Backup, select Configure Backup, then choose Microsoft 365, and click on User Mailbox to begin setup. Start by entering a name for your backup job along with an optional description. This helps you identify and manage your backups easily. Once done, click Next to continue. From the drop-down, select the Microsoft 365 organization you want to back up. Once selected, click Start Backup Configuration. By default, all domains under the selected Microsoft 365 organization are included for backup. If needed, you can choose to include or exclude specific domains based on your backup requirements. All users under the selected domain are automatically selected for backup. However, if you prefer to back up only specific users, you can manually select them from the list. Next, choose the specific data types you want to include in the backup. You can select from Mails, Archive Mailbox, OneDrive, Calendar, Contacts, Groups, and Chats. Once you've made your selection, click Next. On this page, you can fine-tune your backup by excluding specific mailboxes, mailbox folders, or OneDrive folders. You can also apply Include or Exclude filters to target specific OneDrive files. Once you've configured the exclusions and filters as needed, click Next to proceed. In this step, configure your backup schedule. Choose how frequently backups should run. Options include manual, every few minutes or hours, daily, weekly, or monthly. If you choose daily, weekly, or monthly schedules, you can also specify the exact time the backup should run. Additionally, configure advanced settings such as the number of retry attempts in case of backup failure and the wait time between retryees. Once your schedule is configured, click Next to proceed. This step lets you configure retention settings for your Microsoft 365 data. For user mailbox items, including mail, calendar, and contacts, Specify how long the data should be retained in terms of days, months, or years. For OneDrive, choose whether to retain a specific number of file versions or retain versions based on the number of days. You can also define retention rules for deleted files by specifying versioning preferences. If retention is disabled, all restore points will be retained indefinitely. When enabled, only the configured restore points will be preserved. Once done, Click Next to continue. Here, you can configure backup level email notifications. Enter the email addresses of recipients who should receive reports for this specific backup job. 
these recipients will receive prioritized notifications over the standard report recipients. To add multiple recipients, separate each email address with a comma. Once done, click Next to proceed. On the Review page, verify all your backup configurations, including selected users, data types, schedule, retention, and notifications. If you want the backup job to run immediately after saving, check the box labeled Run This Backup Job Immediately. If left unchecked, the backup will run as per the defined schedule. Once everything looks good, click Save to create and schedule your backup job. After saving, your newly created backup job will appear on the List Backup Jobs page. If you selected the Run This Backup Job Immediately option, the backup process will begin right away. To monitor its progress, click the status icon. Once the backup is complete, you can verify its status by clicking the report icon in the List Backup Jobs page. The report provides detailed information, including whether the backup was successful or failed, the total size of data backed up, and the number of files processed. Once the backup is complete, you can verify its status by clicking the report icon in the List Backup Jobs page. The report provides detailed information, including whether the backup was successful or failed, the total size of data backed up, and the number of files processed. To restore your backed up data, navigate to Recovery and select Restore Backup Data. This page lists all configured backup jobs for both Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace organizations. Locate the job you want to restore from and click the Restore button to begin the recovery process to your desired target. Once you've selected the backup job you want to restore from, click Start Restore Configuration to begin setting up your restore preferences. Select the domain from which you want to restore the data. This helps filter the available users and data for recovery. Once selected, click Next to continue. After choosing the time range, select the specific restore point you want to restore from. This allows you to recover data exactly as it existed at that point in time. Once selected, click Next to continue with the restore process. Select the mailbox from which you want to restore data. You can choose to restore everything using entire mailbox or select specific data types, such as mails, archive mailbox, OneDrive, calendar events, contacts, groups, and 1.1 chats. After making your selections, click Next to continue with the restore setup. If you choose to restore only mails, a granular option becomes available, allowing you to browse and select specific email items for restore. This is useful when you only need to recover certain messages rather than the entire mailbox. Once you've made your selections, click Next to continue. On this page, first select how you'd like to restore the data. Restore to the same user mailbox, a different user mailbox, a different organization, or download the data as .eml or .mbox files. After choosing the restore method, Proceed to configure the additional restore settings available below on the same page. Next, specify which mails you want to restore. You can choose to restore all backed up mails or limit the restore to a specific date range. Additionally, decide how to handle deleted mails. Skip deleted mails, include deleted mails, or restore only deleted mails. These filters help tailor your restore to just the data you need. Once configured, click Next to proceed. After reviewing your restore configuration, click Restore. A confirmation prompt will appear asking you to proceed. Click Proceed to confirm and initiate the restore process. The system will now begin recovering the selected data based on your configuration. You can monitor the progress of the restore operation from the Status section on the Restore Backup Data page. This section provides real-time updates on the restore status, along with key information like the number of items restored and completion status. After the restore is complete, you can view a detailed report by clicking the report icon on the Restore Backup Data page. The report includes information such as restore status, number of items restored, any skipped or failed items, and the time taken for the process.
giving you full visibility into the recovery operation. In addition to user mailbox backups, BDR Cloud also allows you to configure backups for other Microsoft 365 services, including group mailboxes, SharePoint sites, Microsoft Teams, and public folders. These can be accessed and configured using a similar step-by-step -step process to what we've seen for user mailboxes. Now that we've seen how to backup and restore Microsoft 365 data using BDR Cloud, let's take a look at the reporting options available to help you monitor and manage your backup jobs. First, we have the recent backup job schedule report. This report shows the most recent schedule details for all your Microsoft 365 backup jobs. It also includes historical data, allowing you to review when backups were run, their frequency, and any changes made over time. Next is the backup summary report for users and objects. This report provides a detailed view of each Microsoft 365 user or object configured for backup. It includes information such as backup status, data size, and coverage, and it's automatically updated every 24 hours, giving you a reliable snapshot of your backup health across all users and services. The License Status Report provides an overview of all protected Microsoft 365 users, along with their current backup license status. This helps you track license usage and ensure all necessary users are covered under your backup plan. The report is updated every 24 hours, keeping your licensing information up to date. The Data Recovery Report provides a complete log of all restore operations performed for your Microsoft 365 backup jobs. It includes details such as the type of data restored, target location, status, and timestamps, helping you audit and validate all recovery actions. The Audit Log Report provides a detailed record of all events and changes that have occurred within the BDR Cloud Server. This includes user actions, configuration updates, and system events, offering complete visibility for auditing and compliance purposes. Finally, the Email Notification Page lets you configure how you receive notifications and reports via email. You can define specific criteria to receive alerts for backup, restore, and delete operations. Based on these preferences, reports will be automatically emailed to you immediately after each task is completed, helping you stay informed in real time. With this, we've reached the end of the BDR Cloud Microsoft 365 Backup and Restore Demo. Thank you for watching. We hope this walkthrough has helped you understand how to effectively configure and manage your Microsoft 365 data protection using BDR Cloud. For more information, visit www.bdrsuite.com or reach out to us at bdr-support at vembu.com.